Another feature that you can use in your OneNote notebook to better organize your information is tables. So you can see on one of the sections in my notebook right now, I've created a lesson plan section. And I've created a table so that I can set up my lessons for a particular week. Very simple to do. So in order to create this table, what I'm going to do is just go over to a blank page. And when I click on this blank page, I'll just get rid of this information over here. If you come over to the insert menu, which is where we've been working with, we're going to come over here to the section that says table. So when you click on table and you move your cursor along the screen, you can see the dimensions of your table change. So for instance, maybe I want to create a 5x4 table. I'm going to click on it and now I have a table. This table can be moved anywhere on your screen just by coming up to the bar at the top and once you get those four arrows you'll be able to drag the table wherever you want and then all you got to do is start entering your content into it so for instance if you did want to set up a table with some basic information you can just plug in information and I can just quickly tab over to the next cell in my table and you can continue to enter information. Now you see as I enter information into this table, I get a table toolbar that automatically pops up over here. So if, for instance, maybe you wanted to add another row or another column to your table because you wanted to add additional information, what I can do is put my cursor in the table and let's say I want another column to the left over here. So I'm going to put my cursor in this column and I want a column to the left of this one. So I click over there. Now you can see I have an extra column so I can put in additional information. So I might want to put in either the periods or I might want to put in however you set up your plans. I might put in do now and then maybe I put in aim, activities, etc. And if I needed to insert another column I can come over here where it says insert below and I can put another one. And you can see that the cells automatically enlarge as you enter text into them. However, if you are more comfortable getting a bigger table now, you can do that just by putting the cursor on the bar that separates each one of the cells or each one of the columns. And when you get the cursor to turn into that line with two arrows coming out, it's going to allow you to drag. Now, the reason I'm showing you how to do these tables is actually there's two reasons. One of them is so that you know how to use tables in your OneNote notebook if you want to insert information. But the other reason is if you wanted to do something like this where you wanted to set up some kind of lesson plan template or some other kind of template that you want to use on multiple pages, you can create your own template. Now we talked about using templates in some of our previous videos, but if you have created something like this where are some kind of blank template that you want to use over and over again, you can store this template on your computer. So let's say for instance this is a page I know I'm going to use continually throughout my notebook, but I don't want to have to draw this table over and over again. So what I'm going to do is come over now to the insert menu and if we go back over to where we went to page templates, you see we have our list of templates that we can choose from, but if you come to the very bottom it says save current page as a template. So when I click save current page as a template, it asks me what do I want to name this template. We'll call this my lesson plan template. And you can set as default template for all new pages. We don't want to do that because we're not going to have a lesson plan template on every single one of the pages and click save. Now just a note on this, if you do save a page as a template, it saves it to the physical computer you are working on. So if you open up your OneNote notebook and start working on it on a different computer, the template is not going to be there. So if you do this on your home computer or the computer that you always work at at school, no problem. But once you move to a different computer, that template's not going to be accessible because it saves it to the physical computer. So just keep that in mind. So once you save it as a template, now you always will have it. And then you can start entering information over here. Now, if you want to be able to get back to those templates, all you're going to do is when you are in the page templates section, now if I click on my templates, you will see here, these are some templates that I downloaded from the internet, but I also have my lesson plan templates so that I can insert this on any page that I want. So this video was twofold. It was to show you how to use tables, but also how to set up a page that you wish to use repetitively and use this as a template so that you can put it on multiple pages.